Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another fun video today. Today we're going to talk about this right here, which is called a sheepdog whistle or sometimes called a shepherd's whistle. But before we get into that, I just realized a pretty amazing coincidence. If you go back one week to last Wednesday, I posted a video about this right here, which is the CD whistle and how to make one and all of that. And then if you go back one week before that, which would have been the first Wednesday in September, I posted a video about this Cherokee four hole whistle. So wait, we had a whistle on Wednesday. We had a whistle on Wednesday. And now we're gonna have another whistle on Wednesday. Now this was not planned, but I think I just coined a new series. Whistle Wednesdays, it's kind of like Kazoo Fridays, but it's Whistle Wednesdays. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about this here Sheepdog Whistle. Now this is an Acme brand, and the original Acme Sheepdog Whistle was actually made of metal. And this is the later one they came out with um, that's made of plastic and comes in several different colors. The main advantage is this is a lot cheaper. I unboxed this yesterday and I didn't do a video of the unboxing because I had heard they're kind of hard to get the hang of. Well, it took me about an hour to get this thing to make any sound. Um, when I first put it, you know, first tried it, it sounded like this, which is probably the first thing that everybody gets out of it. Then after trying it several times, I figured out there's actually a technique to it. Anyway, still not great at it, but you can see it's all about how you hold it in your mouth. And the object is you kind of want to put it like against the flat part of your tongue. You're basically making two chambers within your mouth, a chamber above your tongue and a chamber below your tongue. And the only one you're using is the chamber above your tongue. Um, so the reason it has a hole on both sides is so you can put it in either way, but you're only actually using one at a time. Anyway, that's basically how it works. Very simple, um, but it, it allows you to make those real quick kind of loud chirps. So as you can see, I'm pretty terrible at it, but there are people that are really good at it. There are people that can actually play pitches on these things. For me, it sounds more like squeaks, but there are people out there. So let me show you a quick bit of someone who's actually good at this. Okay, so there you have it. That is a sheepdog whistle or shepherd's whistle or whatever you want to call it. Now, this particular one, again, is the plastic one. These are about like six to eight dollars. Um, you can find them in a lot of different places. Again, this is an Acme brand, but there's a lot of them out there. Fairly inexpensive. Now, a metal version of this, which is kind of more like the traditional sheepdog's whistle, is going to cost you about like 12 to 15. They're a little bit more money. And then there's some really nice ones um, that are more ergonomic and stuff like that, which will cost you up in the 40 to $50 range. Point is, even those are still pretty affordable. Now, do I think that I will use this in a song? I don't know, maybe, probably not. It's it's pretty loud and shrill and probably not the greatest, but maybe there's the right spot for it. But I might use this with my dogs because I tried blowing it. The dogs do like respond to it. They kind of stop and look at me. Anyway, there you go. Sheepdog whistle, whistle Wednesdays. Tune in next week to see what I come up with. See you guys soon.